Hey guys, redoing a video that I posted earlier that somehow got flipped upside down, but I just want to show you guys these wires. These are um, right there, JDM speed wires that I got for the Honda. You can see the <clears throat> difference in the um, diameter of the wires. Huge difference. These are 7 millimeter. the factory ones are 7 millimeter wires. And uh, I've had them on there about a month. And um, I noticed it idles smoother. And uh, I can't complain about them. They fit fine. They're, uh, they don't go down in the holders. So I'm going to have to buy some aftermarket ones that are bigger that will hold any other. I'll just make my own. So I just want to give you guys an update show you how the Honda was holding up. So far, so good. The only thing that's happened is down there, the flange was leaking around the header again. I put three different gaskets in it, and they kept blowing. So I just welded it solid. Um, it has the God Snow 3-inch exhaust underneath it that comes out to a... Um, right here. You can't really see it too well, but... I'll see if I can get a light and show you guys the exhaust. So far, she's been holding up real well. Haven't had any problems with her. The exhaust, on the other hand, has... I had to replace the clamps on it. there I replaced those clamps with a better set of band clamps because one slid apart there I mean the factory clamps suck so I re definitely recommend that you buy some aftermarket ones um, I tried around the silencer in it that came with the exhaust I threw it out it was a piece of crap it had like a inch and a half not even an inch and a half maybe an inch and three quarter outlet on I'm like most restrictive piece of crap I ever seen in my life so I took it out went and bought another one that was bigger and stuck it in there and didn't like the way it ran didn't like the way it sounded took it back out I can't complain it's it's not obnoxiously loud you get that drone it's a low or it's not that high pitched teen noise uh, other than that, I have no complaints about it. She's got almost 350,000 miles on her now. And uh, the paint, of course, it's got the typical Honda non existent clear coat on it anymore. And you can see where I've tried wet sand it and buffing it and everything else. And I need to go back over it. But she's been a good car. Um, like I said, I've, I got this car a few years ago from a buddy of mine for free. And uh, it was running on three cylinders and had no exhaust at all on it. And no brakes. Brake lines were blown. Master cylinder was blown. Uh, the interior was a little rough. It had some pieces I had to replace. And I've done struts all the way around. I've got the rotors on there that, if you can see them or not, cross drilled slotted rotors I put new upper arms ball joints lower ball joint in and outer tie rod ends and brakes all the way around brake lines master cylinder uh, changed the motor got a JDM engine in it um, that supposedly makes more power than the the O1 motor did. It was uh, it's a JDM. I can't remember what the hell it is. I, SI or something. But it was supposed to do 170, the factory horsepower, and the one here that was originally in it was supposed to be 150. I don't know if it's BS or not. I know that she scoots along pretty good. I've got a performance clutch in it, which is okay. I haven't slipped or anything like that, but man, it gets grabby sometimes. It, I try not to 
to drag the clutch, but then if you don't drag it a little bit, the some bitch engages and it's like, bam, I mean, clutch is engaged now, and it's like, so, but I just want to show you guys how she's holding up. I'm going to do some more videos this fall on the green vet. I've got to, I've got it behind the garage now. I don't know if the motor's locked up or not. It started to crank over when I brought it home from the junkyard about four, four years ago, something like that. I cranked it over a couple times and then it stopped. It was like, and I'm like, crap. So I pulled the starter out, checked the starter, starter's fine. I gotta put a breaker bar on the crank and see if it'll turn. If it don't turn, then I know it's probably got a spun bearing. I didn't see any metal in the oil, so I don't know. I don't think it was hydraulic. Uh, I don't know. So that's gonna be the project for this fall and winter i've got to go and get a whole center console assembly because it's gone out of the car it's non-existent someone took it out when they were doing the interior and it's got c5 seats in it which has the controls on the seat instead of in the console so i've got to figure out how to wire those in to make them work um i've got to put the whole entire dash back in because it's literally in the back of the car I've got all new rubber for all the way around the car that came with the car, so I'll replace all the rubber. Um, the roof didn't separate on that one, but it did my other one. It separated from the frame, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that top off, bring it in the garage, take the frame the rest of the way off of it, of course mark where it is, and then I'm going to get windshield glue, and I'm going to glue that section back together. So that should hold it, because that glue is some tough stuff. So we'll see how that goes, but oh yeah, I want to show you guys. I got a tattoo from my daughter the other night. If you can see that or not, just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, my mom's Swedish, so yeah, I've got Swedish and Norwegian in me, so that's a uh, Nordic compass. So anyhow, if you guys like my channel, please like and subscribe, and I'll keep you updated on Honda as she holds up. You guys take care.